In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to prepare our character for exporting to Unity. Alright, so we're going to start out here in Maya. And you could use really any 3D software package that you want to use, whether that be Maya, 3ds Max, or Soft Image. Now, I want to cover some basic guidelines for your characters before you export that to Unity. The guidelines that we're going to be discussing are going to be the, your modeling guidelines, your rigging guidelines, animation guidelines, and then also organizational guidelines before export. So the modeling guideline is basically make sure that your topology is relevant and effective. So whenever you are modeling your mesh, make sure that your topology makes sense. Make sure that there are uh, no ingons, no um, unexpected or unneeded uh, topology or triangles and things like that. Uh, make sure that everything is being used to the fullest. So an example of uh, good topology would be uh, in the chest and things like that. Uh, you have topology going across the chest. We have just enough to change the overall shape of our character, but then also just enough to give our character enough flexibility um, in the body itself. Same thing with the arms. Notice how the flow of the topology follows along with the arms. We have enough topology going across the shoulders to allow that character to deform and move around. Also in the hips themselves, we have enough topology for the character to be flexible. So that is relevant and effective topology. Uh, the next guideline is going to be our rigging guidelines. Make sure that your bones are properly positioned and everything is skinned properly. Normally whenever I'm uh, creating or skinning a character once the rig has been completed and in position, once we're skinning the character it's a good idea to go ahead and do some uh, some basic testing. So you want to put your character through a different range of motions just to kind of test out the overall motion or range of motion of your character. After you've rigged it and you've skinned the character you want to go ahead and go through your animations. Now here are some basic guidelines for the animations. Uh, first off you need to determine what your workflow is going to be. Are your FBX files uh, or animations going to be separate or are there going to be a single FBX file with multiple animations on it? So, for example, you could have an FBX file with just your character in T pose, like this, and then you could have a separate FBX file that handles all of your locomotion uh, for your character. So, you could have your idles in one FBX file, you could have your running forward and backward in a separate FBX file. Same thing with your strafe left and strafe right and firing and all of your weapon uh, type of interactions and things like that. They could all be in separate FBX files. That's totally fine. But in this case, what we've done is we've created a single FBX file with multiple animations on the timeline. And this is just as good. Okay, What we'll be able to do is we'll be able to import this character in and then also split up the animations right in Unity. And I'll show you that workflow. Now finally, once uh, you have your character animated and you're ready to go, it's a good idea to go through and start getting your um, character organized. So what that means is remove any unnecessary controls. So you don't want any control objects being imported into Unity. And you also want to make sure that all of your animations have been baked down to the bones themselves. So make sure that you do that. Also remove any unnecessary transform groups if at all possible. It just kind of helps with organization of your hierarchy inside of Unity. So whenever we are ready to export, just like now, um, I like to have my character in a T-pose. And uh, this is best whenever using the mechanism system. Um, if you have your character in a pose like on frame 1, this can be very difficult to get the T-pose that is required for humanoid rigs inside of Mechanim. So I always like to say on frame zero, I'll have my character set up in its T-pose. So he has all of the uh, bones, they're keyframed to this T-pose here. And this is just going to make things easier. Now from 1 to 262, which you can see here, um, is all of the rest of the animations. So once we're ready, what we want to do is we want to make sure that everything is cleared out. 
so no other objects in our scene and then we want to go to file and then export all here we can go ahead and select the file that we want to export so in this case it's going to be biker.fbx and then we want to go into our FBX options here so um, if you change your file type to FBX export you should get these here now we can come in and we can start to adjust or make changes to our FBX export options normally in the geometry the only thing that I have checked are going to be smooth mesh and then uh, reference container contents if that's at all needed okay you don't necessarily have to have that you will also want to make sure that your animation is checked okay so that way it exports all of those out any extra options I have those turned off I don't bake my animations uh, in the FBX I bake them inside of the file itself because then what I'll do is I'll just go in and split those animations inside of unity um, deformed models um, I make sure that I have all of those checked for my skinning um, coming in here let's go to cameras and lights make sure those are turned off as well as embed media and then finally we'll go to units and I like to make sure that my scale factor is set to one or just check automatic okay whatever you want to do alright now if you're using um, something like 3ds max where Z is up instead of Y you want to make sure that you have that pivot changed uh, properly so you want to make sure that the character um, is facing down the Z direction okay so Y should be up so now that we've done this let's go ahead and export our character and I'm gonna go ahead and just overwrite that you may get a couple of warnings nothing that we really need to be worried about at this point I'm just gonna go ahead and close that and then let's go into unity so now that we've exported that out what we want to do is we want to go ahead and import that into our meshes folder so I'm gonna to go to import new asset and then biker.fbx here you can see our character and you'll notice that it looks a little bit different than what we had in the previous scene and that's because I had um, a gun group actually in there and this is just kind of for reference for me um, I like to leave that in there